Serapia, what age group should I take? I don't know if I should take infants or school age children and, and your mind is just going crazy, right? Well, stick around and we're gonna discuss what will be the best option for you as an in-home childcare provider on what age group to take. Understanding what age group you should take will be a big factor in your in-home child care because again, it's something that you're going to know what you need to do to manage your stress levels, what kind of activities to have, what kind of toys to have. Now, for me, I only take 18 months walking, they must be walking, up to 12 year olds. However, I do cut off at six. So if you're six, you know, so in my group, my in-home child care, our age group is anywhere from 18 months walking to six year olds before they go to school. Really it's five because they go to school at five in the state of Texas. Now I have to have my license to say 12 because my oldest is 11 and in the state of Texas, your own children are counted in your ratio. So all the children that are school age children are just my children and their ages are 11, 12, nine and seven and so i have to make sure that their age is included into my license but as far as learning and the business i only take 18 months walking to basically before they start kindergarten getting and prepare for kindergarten why do i take 18 months walking and, and no infants i do not take infants i love babies babies are so cute they're so amazing but they are a big liability when it comes to an in child care provider i was in the military i worked in the NICU i worked in pediatrics i worked in labor and delivery and the list goes on and on and on and on and i know that working with infants it is a very 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 fragile thing that you have to do now that might be your specialty to just work with infants also keep in mind, the more children that you take that are younger, so the younger a child is, the less your max capacity can be. So in the state of Texas, they're gonna give you a max capacity of 12 if you are a registered home or a licensed home. But the younger your child is, the more they're gonna take away from that max capacity. So if you're planning on doing just infants, for one provider, you can only have four infants and that's it. No other children, no other after school, your own children, that's in the state of Texas. So that's another reason why I do not take infants in for care. Uh, again, infants are also the age group where they find out what they're allergic to. So you might feed an infant something and they're turning red and you're freaking out and you're like, oh my gosh. And then the parents, the last reason is parents. Sometimes infants are their first child. And you remember how our first child is. You remember those commercials where they're like first child and you're like got all the baby wipes and you're holding your child and you're making sure the child is perfect and all this stuff. And it's like by the second child, you're all like, you know, they're dirty, they're running around. You're like, whatever, I don't care. Because you start to realize that it's life and you can't stress yourself out over every little tiny detail of your infant, of your child. And that's why they say the more children you have, the more experience you have, the more you like laugh at the stuff that you did with your first child. Comment below, what's some of the funny things that you did with your first child? And as you had more children, you stopped doing. For me, with my first child, like I filmed every hour of the day, like took pictures all the time. And now I'll be lucky if I can catch them all together and piece it together with glue. Like, you know, they were together in the whole picture. But yeah, so share that story below. And that's the reason why I don't do infants. Infants also, when licensing comes, you have to have different equipment. You have to have um, a crib or a pack and play for them, high chairs. And then in an emergency situation, your licensing inspector is going to want to know what are you going to do to get all these children out safely? And you have to have a plan for that. So to me, it is not worth it at all. What's perfect about this age group is I'm actually able to help them to learn. Like it's exciting. They're walking, they're talking, they know how to feed themselves. And so now we're just honing in on those skills, teaching them the please and thank yous, teaching them how to scrape their plates when they're finished and placing it into the sink. Just basic principles that they need for life and for school. And so you're able to have lesson plans. You're able to write on the board and tell them how to write a letter B or tell them what a circle is. So I love this age group. This age group is also where they just soak everything in like sponges. Their minds just take 
all of the information and put it in. And it's very rewarding when you're teaching them something and they remember. They remember a song that you taught you that you taught them. They remember the letter songs. I love Leapfrog. Make sure you check out the link with the Leapfrog. The Letter Factory. It is awesome because it teaches the children all the letter sounds. So and then there's the song and it's like A says ah, A says ah. Every letter makes a sound. A says ah, the B says b. The B says B. Every letter makes a sound. The B says B. I love it. I love it. It's catchy and they're learning the sound. Why do they need to learn the sound of letters? Because it's going to help them to string together to make words. It's going to help them to learn how to sound things out to make words. And so when you're a part of that and you're pouring into children, it is just so rewarding. It's so exciting to sit back and be like, wow, I was a part of that. That is amazing. They're growing. They're ready for school. You're teaching them to grow emotionally, socially, academically. All those things are going to be so important for when they start school and it's rewarding. So this is why I like the age group of 18 months walking to pre-K, five to six years old. The last thing and the reason why I like the age group that I have is because I only have to have one lesson plan, pre-K. That's it. Sometimes I break it down to toddler. So I'll have a lesson plan and I'll say, this is what the toddlers will do. This is what the pre-K kids will do. But I don't have to do pre-K and after school and all that stuff and infant because in the state of Texas, they're going to want to see your lesson plan. They're going to want to see your activities and it's just less stress to be able to keep it simple. So remember, it is 100% up to you what age group you take. Sit back and think about what age group am I the best with. Just because I don't do infants does not mean that it's not your calling. It may be your calling. And you know, with infants, you can charge more. So you don't have to worry so much about the income in that area. Question of the day, what age group do you care for and do you like it? Have you ever had to change it? For all of my new home child care providers, what age group are you considering caring for? Comment below, make sure you interact. I appreciate you guys tuning in to a live learning academy, your YouTube channel for tips, tricks, and training all in the area of caring for children. If this is your first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit the alert button so you will know the next time we upload brand new videos. Thank you for joining us at the Live Learning Academy, your YouTube channel for tips, tricks, and training all in the area of caring for children. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and alert button so you'll know when we upload new videos.